Okay, so if Wednesday is gonna be a one to 10, so it's a total of 55 reps, but each uh, round is gonna be in short sets. So you should be able to keep a lot of this unbroken. The challenge will be to try to keep the first two movements unbroken when the numbers are smaller. So when you're doing a single, you should be able to do a single uh, double snatch into a push press and maybe for two, three until you get to about four or five. So here's some different um, objects you can use. Since we did a clean and jerk on Monday, I recommend making this light enough that you can snatch. So if you have a double, try to use a double kettlebell, dumbbell, etc. cetera. Um, and if you only have one, it's fine to just do a single and do alternating. Um, so here it is with kettlebells. And push press. When you start to get tired, you can rest on your shoulders on the way down. And I'll single, alternating. So for dumbbells, I recommend choking up on the handles. I'm gonna do a double. Again, when it gets heavy, resting on the way down. Single, same thing. Oops, alternating. Okay. So if you have a barbell, again, we're going for a snatch. Ideally, not a clean and jerk, unless maybe your weights that you have are a little bit too heavy for that. Or if they're light. For step ups, it's gonna depend on the kind of equipment you have. So if you have a box, this is a good opportunity for you to do box jump overs because we haven't been able to program that much at home. Um, if you don't, some things that work would be a bench, um, chairs work, stairs work. Um, you could just do a step up instead of a step over. Um, if you front weighted uh, your, your squats from yesterday, I would recommend doing some kind of a weighted farmer's dumbbell step over um, or even just body weight step ups, box jumps, etc.